Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo the Modular Groove Box. In this video I'd like to show you how to use the Graphic Modulator, which is one of the latest uh, rack or plugins that have been added to Drumbo. So let's click on the plus sign, let's go under Modulator and select at the top Graphic Modulator. Then let's add a simple synth, so let's start first with the processor and scrolling down, let's go to Amplitude ADSR and then let's add before the ADSR a oscillator. So under generator category At the top, let's choose an oscillator. Okay, perfect. Let's also add the filter. So under processor Let's select filter. Okay, so uh, let's go to keys Okay, you can hear the uh, simple synth that we are generating. Also, let's add some notes. So let's click on C2 first. And let's click on the steps to create uh, two notes, something like that, and a G2. Like so. Okay, perfect, we have two notes. So if we click play. And that's good enough in terms of duration to hear the uh, modulation applied to the filter. So let's click on the filter here, dial, and let's set the graphical modulator to modulate the filter. And let's increase the intensity of modulation from the graphical modulator to the cutoff. So let's click uh, play. Okay, let's go through the controls now. First of all, it's called graphic modulator because you have a graphic selection here. So you click on it and here you have the classical view that you have in other controls in uh, Drumbo uh, in terms of creating your uh, wave shape. So it works in similar way. So you can click and hold and move um, your uh, <coughs> dot, okay? And um, you can click somewhere in uh, the uh, line and uh, move and you to create another dot, another point, like so. You can click on the same point to remove it. Now, here on the right, interesting uh, feature, we have snap on on uh, the x-axis. So if you move, it will snap to the grid. Okay. Then you have the selection or subdivision or division for the grid. So you click and hold and move up to increase them for the grid or down to decrease them. So something like that, 12. Then we can set the snap on the y-axis. So as I move up and down, it will snap to the grid as well. And then you can, I can select also the division here on the grid. So let's create a um, an interesting uh, um, shape for the modulation. So let's do something uh, um, like this, where it fluctuates up and down very quickly um, at the beginning, like so, perhaps uh, um, four, and then it stays stable like that before coming down. So let's close uh, um, the graphic interface and let's go through the other control. So first of all, you have a sync control and you can go by different division of bits, a quarter, a third and a whole bit, or you can go also for a, a free sync. If you select free fit sync, um, the rate dial will change in terms of measurement to Hertz. If you have a sync in terms of a bit, for example, then you have division of that bit in terms of rates and you can have rates going up in terms of free rates of the bits or going down like division subdivision um, then we have a bipolar selection if that is what you want to do, to do you have the speed which i'll show you in a moment phase control the number of step which you will act uh, changing the numbers of step horizontally on the grid as you can see here and then, of course, you can um, uh, link to the timing and gate uh, signal events, uh, respectively, down here. So uh, let's click play and let me show you how the rate uh, works. You can hear I increase the rate, it's going faster and it's synced to bit at the moment, and you can hear the modulation on the cutoff. Let's increase a little bit more the intensity. Okay, 
perfect now let's uh, change the sinking for example let's go to a quarter of a bit <laughs> Okay, um, so you can see how you change changing the sync, and then you can affect also on the rate of um, related to the sync that you selected. Alongside that, you can change the speed as well. And let me show you if the speed is down to zero, it will not move. And you can set the speed to go positive or to go negative as well, which is really interesting. As you can see, when it goes, it goes negative, it's in reverse mode. And let me show you the effect of this. Of course, you can change the phase and you can change also the steps as well. So let me. The interesting thing, of course, is that you can further modulate the speed, which becomes very interesting. So you have uh, the graphical modulator in affecting the cutoff, and then we can have uh, another modulator, for example, simple LFO, and then uh, um, have the speed modulated by this LFO, and then it becomes really interesting. <laughs> Interesting, you can see that uh, uh, the vertical bar is moving to the right and then coming down based on the frequency uh, of this LFO here. And at the same time, as it's moving up and down, it moves through the um, shape um, that we have created and therefore modulating the cutoff here. So great functionality, great addition to Drumbo. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.